北京，走在角门的街上，在北京，琢磨着我心爱的姑娘，在北京，烧香您找李奶奶，我在北京，出了门就是胡同，在北京，遍地都是他妈狗屎，我在北京，菜市场收来一件 T 恤，在北京。We're going to show you the five or six best-known uh, shopping places for tourists in Beijing, and the most famous one is, without a doubt, the Silk Market. Just a few years ago, the Silk Market uh, was an open-air market in a small alley just beside where it is now. It had about uh, 250 stalls at that time, but in 2004, it moved into this uh, modern shopping complex just next to where it used to be. You can find the Silk Market at the uh, Yong'anli subway station on the straight line or on the main road going straight east from Tiananmen. Inside this new seven-story building there are over 400 stalls selling all kinds of goods. We will take you briefly through the kind of goods that are sold in the different floors. Uh, the two first floors you will find uh, all kinds of clothing. Of course you should bargain very hard when you're here and uh, it's also advisable to try on all the clothes before you buy them. On the third floor you can find a large selection of tailor-made goods. Basically you can have them make anything that you want and the prices are very reasonable. Also on the third floor you can find different kinds of silk products like uh, ties, children clothing, uh, pillow covers, scarves and things like that. They also recently added a section for toys. <laughs> Although some of the toys might be for the little older children. If you do have children yourself or want to pick up some clothing for the nephew back home, you can do that as well. Up on the fourth floor you will find a large selection of jewelry. They also have a section selling electronic equipment, uh, some sporting equipment, pens, sunglasses and stuff like that. If you want to pick up some Chinese traditional artifacts, you can also get that here. On the top floor, one of the city's more famous Beijing Duck restaurant chains has moved in, and they will happily welcome you for a nice meal. If you need a new bag, a pair of shoes, maybe a belt or a wallet, you'll find that in the basement. Hi, do you need the bags? Welcome to Beijing. On your way out, don't forget to pick up your licensed electric product, just by the entrance. Another famous market in Beijing is the Pearl Market. The Pearl Market is situated just next to the Temple of Heaven. And you can get there by subway line number 5 to Tiantan Dongmen. The market carries many of the same products as the Silk Market, although at a smaller scale. They do have a large selection of uh, smaller things like lighters, hip flasks and different kinds of tools. And if you have the stomach to buy electronic equipment at these kinds of market, this will be the place to go. Although, be prepared to find out that the camera you just bought two weeks ago back home is much cheaper here. On the top floor you can see where the market got its name from. Of course, now all the other markets also have these kinds of products, so it doesn't really have that advantage anymore. The last of the three most famous tourist markets in Beijing is the Yasho Market in San Litun. The market is situated in the middle of the bar and entertainment area of Beijing about 5 minutes walk from the Gumti Beilu station on subway line number 10. Every day you will see busloads of tourists being brought here. The market itself is basically a smaller version of the silk market, so if you don't have a lot of time, there's really no need to visit both of them. If it is one thing that's different with the Yasho market in a positive way, it is that it has a really good DVD and CD store. The entrance to the store is on the east side of the building. In addition to the tourist markets in Beijing, of course there are many other areas for shopping in the city. The biggest and the most famous one is Wang Fujing. Wang Fujing is a wide and long pedestrian street uh, very close to Tiananmen. It has many department stores as well as smaller shops. In the summer this place is uh, perfect for just strolling along and watching all the people. In the malls at Oriental Plaza you will find a very modern shopping complex. This huge department store occupies the two lower levels of one of Beijing's largest building structures, the Oriental Plaza. 
you will not find any real bargains here and both the prices and the brands are similar to those back in Europe or in the States. At the lower level you will find the more medium range brands as well as a movie theater. Whereas the upper level you will find the more upscale brands. And if you happen to need a new mobile phone you can pick one up here for 551,000 RMB. Just off Wangfujing Main Street you will find some small alleys where you can sample some of Beijing's favorite food. How much you want to sample is of course up to you. <laughs> and something that should definitely not be missed is the famous evening snack market which is also just off Wangfujing. Here we can also sample everything from more traditional Chinese snacks to the more daring stuff. Before you leave the Wangfujing area, you might want to stop by the beautiful church in the middle of the main road. Three subway stops west of Wangfujing, you will find the shopping street of Xidan. You will not find a lot of foreigners in Xidan. It's more of a place for younger Chinese students to find really cheap clothes. But if you want to try shopping with a little more local flavor, it's still worth a visit. The central business district of Beijing is located in the Guomao area, which is actually quite close to the silk market. The Guomao area is worth a visit just for the awesomeness of all the new buildings there. And if you can afford it, some really upscale shopping. In the malls just below the World Trade Center, you can walk around for a long long time watching all the designer brands you cannot afford to buy. And when you're tired of window shopping, they have an indoor skating rink where you can relax and watch some of the future Chinese Olympic hopefuls. Just across from the World Trade Center, you will find one of Beijing's many Soho's. This whole area has been built during the last 5 or 6 years, and it has received many awards for its special architecture. The atmosphere of this community is very different from what you're used to in the rest of Beijing. It has many smaller shops, some really interesting restaurants and cafes, and the biggest Starbucks in the city. From inside the area you can also see the beautiful new building of the CCTV, which will probably be finished when you get there.